my my background things are getting a little hella ghoulish around here <laughs> anywho that's not what this video is about so i wanted to share today how to claim your website on pinterest and actually use tailwind to schedule your pins now pinterest is one of my favorite platforms it allows such growth like if you're an interior designer or anything design related creative person even if you're just um a coach or you do more business side of hosts living or having it live on your pinterest account is one of the surefire ways to get tons of traffic to your website again i always emphasize the use of your own website to create your content and have all traffic flow through your website i think it's one of the better choices that can do to grow our you know our websites our business so i'm going to show you today how to claim your website if you are using squarespace this is how to claim your website on pinterest so if you use pinterest to drive traffic to your website it's helpful to have access to analytics that can tell you which pins are performing well and in order to do this you have to claim your squarespace website on pinterest so it's able to monitor analytics and, and ensure your brand name appears on every pin created from your site. So this kind of data can help you tailor your content based on which blog posts or even Instagram posts or now story pins are the most popular with Pinterest users. In order for Pinterest to provide you this data, you need to claim your website. So if you don't already know, you will need a business account on Pinterest, just like any other area that you might have like um facebook and instagram where you need a business account in order to track your analytics it's no different from pinterest so to open up a business account or convert your personal account into the business you will need to follow some instructions that they have laid out pretty nicely for you when you log in and switch over you just have to follow that but again this is not what this tutorial is about so if you're all set and you've done that part of the homework or you have already created your business account, so if you're all set Watch the video tutorial now to claim your website. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna get started with Pinterest advertising. Again, I had mentioned before that I had this done already, but for some reason it wants me to claim my website again. So if you have logged into your business hub, it should say business hub at the top, and it gives you like little um, tasks that you can do to better your Pinterest business page, business analytics, so in the business hub, once you log on and you are here, it gives you some, some tasks that you can make the most out of your Pinterest business account. Again, I had claimed my website previously to monitor my analytics and ensure my brand names appears, but for some reason, it's telling me to claim it again. I'm not 100% sure why, but it also helps me out to do this for you because if I had already claimed it, I wouldn't be able to actually walk you through this tutorial. So at the top, it tells you how many followers and how many monthly views your pins have garnished. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to claim the website. Now I'm going to hit where it says claim. Now for Squarespace, you're going to add the HTML tag. So you're gonna paste this tag into the head section of your website. So we're going to actually click on it and it's going to hover, when you hover over, it's gonna say click to copy. Now we're going to go into your website. You should be logged into your Squarespace website and we're going to go into the settings, advanced, and then the code injection. Now in the code injection, you're going to paste the HTML tag in the header section. You wanna place it in the footer, you wanna place it in the header. I already have one thing, one code injection in here, so I'm gonna paste this one, and it's just going to say um, the code, meta name, Pinterest domain verify, that's all it is. After we paste the meta code, we're just gonna hit save, and that is pretty much it. Now we just wait. We're gonna come back to the Pinterest website. We're gonna hit continue. We're going to make sure that we type our, our website URL. Click verify. It's going to verify your website. So what Pinterest does in the meantime is once you've added the medical, the HTML copy code into your code injection on your Squarespace website, it's going to scan the website for that code. So you come here, you put in your website URL, and hit done 
or next it should say to verify the website and then it should give you this section that says connected you're all set and then you just hit done so now if you come here you can see that i've claimed my website so this is one of the websites i've claimed here and then Already, as part of the um, business, I've already claimed my Instagram, claimed my Etsy, and claimed my YouTube. So all of these is going to scan through to make sure that my branding is um, on point as far as Pinterest is concerned. When we go back to our business hub, it should tell us that we have already um, claimed our website, we have pins published, and we have campaigns created. I do create Pinterest campaigns or ads, they call them campaigns for my Pinterest. And if you scroll down to the Pinterest hub, you're going to be able to tell what your analytics are, your impressions, how many saves you received, how many outbound clicks, which is something you want, especially if you're pinning something from your blog post, you want to see how many outbound clicks you have. You want to see your how it's how it's been performing if it's going down obviously it's going to be in red um and any ads that you have going on and how those ads are performing to kind of gauge on what you should do next um here are your top pins and then the ads that you you may have um done as well so it gives you a lot of nice resources um as far as pinterest is concerned and one of my favorite uh i love Pinterest more than any other social media platform. So Pinterest is definitely one of my favorite social media sites. It's so easy to navigate. It's easy to obviously get wrapped up in the different pins of so many things that you can do. It can give you so many ideas, but promoting your website on here is so easy. And I use something called Tailwind to monitor and import and schedule all of my pins. And this is called Tailwind. And in here, I'm able to schedule my Pinterest some of, and it'll tell me what failed to publish. If something failed, I can re replace it or requeue it. I can add pins to my, to my scheduler and what it'll do. It'll, it's called a smart, a smart shuffler. I think don't quote me on that. It's called something smart. And what it does is that it takes all the pins that you have and you put into your queue smart loop. There it goes. It goes into your queue and then it'll actually pin it for you. Instead of you constantly having to pin something, it actually takes the pins you have in your queue and kind of just sends them out. Now, when this is empty, they will send you an email or um, a notification that says that your queue is empty, which means that you have to go back to your queue, make sure that you enter new pins so that they can continue to loop your pins and sent them out there for you. This is something that I do pay for because it's just such a great tool. This is how I got my Pinterest, not only from ads, but, but my Pinterest analytics up to 24,000 monthly views because I use this amazing tool, um, Tailwind. It's so simple to use. What you will do is just, you would go to your publisher, you would, um, create a new pin. And once you create a pin, if you already have it on your computer, what you're going to do is you are going to upload photos or videos, wherever you have it at. I'm just going to do this just for anything. So I'm going to take one of these. Let's say this was a pin. Let me see if I actually have a real pin. Okay. I'm going to take this new video one here. I'm going to add it. Now, if you want to connect this to an actual blog post, you want to enter the URL when it comes up here. So what you do here is at the bottom is going to default to your actual website URL, but you have a specific URL. You can obviously change that. I'm actually going to use my YouTube channel for this video because I want this to link to the video and not my website because it doesn't live on my website. So I'm going to go into YouTube and copy the URL. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. Now it's going to change it and it's actually going to embed the title from the YouTube channel. I can, I can write a more descriptive description basically right here in this section. Let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to copy a quick description in this section. And then what I'm going to do is now I have to choose my boards and now you can choose multiple boards for this, right? So I'm going to do business. I'm going, I don't want to do anything that has a lock because those are personal boards that no one sees. So even if you pin there, it's not going to count in your analytics. So you don't want to use that. Then I want to do, um, entrepreneurship, 
creative career, interior design business. So pretty much whatever boards you have that kind of match, that's what you're going to do. Let's do productivity and let's do take it, take it easy, which is the series. And then I'm going to do add to queue. So it's going to add this particular pin to my queue. And now when it goes back to the schedule pins, you'll see that it'll add them to the smart loop. And I think since I just added, it might be towards the bottom. So I have pins going out all the way until October 23rd. And again, when this is empty, Tailwind will send you a notification to let you know that um, you don't have any more pins. So you need to add stuff to your queue. So this is where the pins are going. And you see some are Monday, October 11th. And what it'll do, it'll pin at all of these different times. And it'll be all done for you. You don't have to go into Pinterest a million times to do it. And then if you come here and you want to, you decide you want to change the board, you can always select a different board and change it to that new board and then just update your scheduler. So again, this is exactly why I love Pinterest, why you definitely need to make sure that you claim your website. You use this amazing tool, um, Tailwind for you, for you. And also Tailwind in and of itself has this thing called Tailwind Communities. And what this does is it allows you to not only pin to your boards, but pin to other people's boards where you form the community. And as long as they are in your same um, niche or topic, you can actually pin to those boards. What you will do is you will find your community up here. You will find whatever, whatever they are. Um, you will click find the community, find it. And once you become part of the com community and they do invite you in, because they do have different rules, just like a Facebook group, when you are creating a pin, so let's go back to creating a pin. Let's just pick anything again. I'm gonna actually cancel this one out. So when you are creating a pin and you filled out all this information, like I said before, you can add to your community. So you will click on the add to communities it's just for this video. I will add to my community. It'll give me this information. So update your pins will display in communities after they are published. So before you were able to pick the actual communities that you wanted this to be pinned to, but now it actually just pins after you have published this. So add to communities and then you pick the the communities you want this to so if this particular pin doesn't relate and you always want to make sure that it relates to right because you don't want to drop a video on or a pin on something that has nothing to do with the the communities you formed so if this had nothing to do with design i'm not going to choose any of these obviously these um communities i would do i would leave it outside of it or try to find a community that matches the topics that I'm talking about. So in my case, I have so many design um, communities. What I need to do now for myself is actually look for communities that talk about productivity, talk about small business entrepreneurship, so that I'm able to drop these other types of pins to those communities. So these, none of these are gonna work. But if it were, I would just pick home decor, home design, and then add to the communities. So here's another thing about Tailwind communities and, to, and Pinterest in general. Don't be greedy. Don't be that person that just go ahead and just pins all of your stuff because you sold into yourself. Pin other people's stuff. Reciprocate because that's the whole thing of Pinterest is people pin your stuff, pin their stuff. And so what Tailwind does nicely is that they suggest pins for you to pin from other people that may match the things that you have already been pinning. So just go ahead and if something interests you, go ahead and let's say like five tips to structure your workday. This is perfect for me because I do, um, obviously I do a lot of productivity. So I will choose a board for my suggested. Do I'm gonna put this in productivity. I'm also going to put this in entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, and I'm also going to put this in business. And I'll add this to my queue. And again, adding this to the queue will show up in my smart loop over here. I trend, I tend to do smaller bloggers because obviously the bigger bloggers, they get a lot of traffic on and often like they already get their traffic. So I try to support smaller bloggers so that they can get the, the same type of traffic. A lot of the times they don't have anything for me. So I'll just pick two or three from here and then I'll go into Pinterest itself and pin that way. I'll do that more, a little more manually because again, it's going to, it's going to suggest a bigger bloggers on this section. Sometimes they do really well with, with suggesting smaller bloggers, but sometimes they do not. Like Jenna Kutcher is a big account. So we know that um, she gets a lot of traffic. 
So with this, how to launch a podcast, I may do this in um, business as well. And then actually in, I think I have a podcasting. Let's see. So I have my own podcast, but I'll add it to there. Why not, right? So I'll add that to the queue. And then this starts filling up. Again, not just with your stuff, but other people's. and, and, And you just get that reciprocity, you know, from everyone involved. And I always believe in obviously paying it forward and karma comes back to you and all of that. So this is kind of that same whole thing. You get more traffic by the stuff that you pin, not only your stuff, but other people's stuff. So just wanted to leave you. That's how you claim your website and use Tailwind to further your pins. I really hope that you enjoyed that tutorial. It was quick, easy, to the point, and you'll see how easy it is to use both Tailwind and Pinterest to grow your business. If you have any more suggestions on what I should do next, if you are a Squarespace website user, I have tons of tips and tricks coming up for you in the month of November. So whatever you need to know specifically, please leave a comment down below. As always, please like and subscribe and share this video to someone who may be building their websites, who may be wanting to get on Pinterest as well. Uh, If you want, I can do more of Pinterest and how to create Pinterest pins. In the future, just please leave me a comment down below. As always, I always have the link to buy me a coffee so that I can continue to make these tech tutorial videos for you. And I'll see you again next Tuesday for another Tech and You Out. Start before you're ready. I'm going to say that again. Start before you're ready. If you wait until you feel ready to do anything meaningful, you're going to be waiting for the rest of your life.